Aloha, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. My name is Master Paul. I'm very grateful to be with you here today. Today is Tuesday. It is January 3, 2017. We are completely out of this most recent year, 2016, and we are embarking on a voyage, a new journey. So welcome and thank you for coming. Today is the 17th day, 16th or 17th day uh, of 21 days. Um, serving others, healing ourselves through serving others. <clears throat> and each day has been uh, very, very powerful. Each day we get new wisdom and insights. Each day I receive new wisdom and insights. So I'm always learning and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be a vessel through which you can learn. Even just now, I was reading through an, one of the earliest books that Master Shah had written and I was reading something for the very first time. I was like, wow, you know, I really need to go back to this book. There is some very deep and important wisdom in here. So I guess a good way to state it is the learning curve is never ending and that's got to be a good thing. I know that my teacher, Master Shah, says that when we, uh, we think we know something for sure, that's when we close our minds. That's when we start to go the wrong direction. <clears throat> so there's always higher and higher opportunities. So today I am operating from Dr. Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu. Uh, it is my Tuesday, my day of service down here. And um, so I will also invite in all of the holy beings that reside at this temple. Many, many Hemajinos and soldiers. There's a dragon here. There's all kinds of beautiful saints, animals that are present. And we'll invite them to join us today. And uh, it'll be an excellent, excellent opportunity for healing. I also wanted to acknowledge, uh, appreciate uh, all of the, the thoughtful um, comments of these last couple days. And Teresa, honestly, I don't know which typing you're referring to. So even if I did see something out of alignment, I would never take it personally. Um, I often have to make corrections with when I speak to text and it comes out wrong. <clears throat> and so it's just the nature of the digital age. So don't worry about these kinds of things. So welcome to everybody that's jumping in here. Uh, we'll scroll back here. Welcome CJ, welcome Lori, welcome Sherry, and welcome Teresa. Good to see you, Tammy. Linda Jansen's joined us. Welcome Linda, welcome Shari, welcome Kristen Rojas, Hailona, and welcome also Zilki, welcome Ali, welcome Stephanie, and Dana, good to see you as well, Dana. Welcome Ruth Greenwald, aloha. And any others that have come in that I haven't seen your name, uh, please forgive me, I don't see all the names pop up. But um, today is a great day. Today is three days into the new year. How are you doing with your practices? Are you moving forward on this 21 days of consistency towards releasing a blockage? Every one of us has our own particular blockage area. <clears throat> and some are saying, yes, I'm, I'm noticing a significant difference. Some are saying, no, nope, not noticing anything at all. And there's a variety of reasons for that, but typically it boils down to the depth of our forgiveness and um, applying the wisdom and powers that we have. So one of the things that we'll do today is we're going to turn on a lot of the treasures that you have that you don't know that you have, and we're going to use them to bring additional healing to ourselves. Okay, um, And then also I'm going to read a little bit from one of Dr. Master Shah's books and it's called Living Divine Relationships. And it's literally about our connection with the divine. How do we honor that connection in a deeper, higher and better way? And so I'm going to read a little bit uh, from one of his books to kind of bring our, 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 our mind and our hearts into the same field, if you will. And so let me back this up a little bit here. <clears throat> so, let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Bring your thoughts and your breath fully present. Some of us are finishing the day. We need to unwind from the stress. Some of us are beginning our day. We need to prepare for it. In either case, become fully present. Deep breath in. Ah. They're all layers of the divine, 
all layers of the Tao, all layers of source. They're all beings serving the plan of the light side, all light side stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. The soul of all masters and ascended masters, the soul of all kahunas, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, the soul of our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, the soul of beloved Nama Amitofu, Shakyamuni Fo, beloved Kuan Yin, Pusa, Medicine Buddha, Happy Buddha, Money Buddha. They're the soul of Krishna, the soul of Ganesha. They're the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. All of the heavens, generals, and soldiers, and the heavens, animals. We love you, we honor you, appreciate you, deeply respect you. We ask you to please be present at this time. We ask that you come to sit in each of our individual heart centers. Bless us to clear, additionally, any blockages that we have to aligning to our soul, heart, mind, and body, for aligning our Shen, Qi, and Jing to heaven, divine, Tao, and source, Shen, Qi, and Jing. Bless us to be a better and more unconditional universal servant. Bless us to move through and beyond our own stuff and assist us to be more present to assist others and as a natural result, releasing our own blockages. <clears throat> Dear the Source, Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, love you, love you, thank you. Could you please turn on? We invite every soul in our body, the soul of our brain, our heart, all of our organs, all of our systems, the souls of all of our cells and cell units, RNA, DNA, smallest matter, to turn on the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, and to chant with us at this time. So we'll chant a few rounds, fully connect. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 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 Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo ai wo shen er ling. Wo ai tran ran li. Wang ling rong her mu shi shang. Song I ping on a she, song I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tren ren lei. Wang li ying rong er mu shi shang. Shuang ai ping an he xie. Song I ping on a sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The first thank you is to heaven, 
the second thank you is to all of the holy beings who have come and the third thank you is to our own soul <clears throat> so welcome Kristen Strachan welcome the Vorka and Dollar. welcome Ruth Greenwald welcome Dean Willis good to see you Dean welcome Tatiana and Nora welcome Ginny Brown welcome Cheryl and anybody else who is tuned in if I haven't acknowledged you please forgive me uh, uh, welcome Joanne so I do uh, truly appreciate all of you for coming each and every day uh, I appreciate Facebook for giving me the medium to share uh, this wisdom with <clears throat> we always want to give credit to those that um, that make things possible I give credit to my teacher Dr. Master Shah I give credit to God I give credit to all of the experiences I've ever had especially the not so pleasant ones there are many times we have some very very unpleasant experiences and yet in hindsight it's often where we get our greatest wisdom from it's where we learn not to make those same mistakes again and very often it makes us much stronger <clears throat> but what happens sometimes is those um, those very very hard lessons that we receive those very very hard experiences that we receive they can sometimes be so painful that we don't get the lesson or the wisdom from it until one two three years later and even if we are blessed to receive the wisdom from it in one two three four weeks one or two or three four years later what often happens is we are hardened from it we are we close our heart we um, we fail to forgive the individuals, the people, the job, the boss, the whatever that caused that, that very difficult time for us. We don't complete the process. We hold on to that pain, that suffering, that angst, that I'm the victim and you did this to me stuff. So take a look back at your life this last year as a representative example. <clears throat> what was the hardest part of that year was it losing a job was it a health concern you had um, was it an individual that divorced you or was it an individual that did something to hurt you sometimes the hardest things for us has to do with uh, um, an area where a karmic implication came up to be cleared and we only get half of it done we get the half done where we supposedly learn a lesson or we we learn from it so we don't do it again I'm never gonna let somebody do that to me again so you can sort of say that's learning your lesson but that doesn't always work and in fact many times it happens again why does it happen again from somebody else entirely different because it's not about the lesson so much it's about the reason it came to us how whatever it is that came to us if there's a commonality of structure that came to us a commonality being someone that's always taking your money or someone that's always taking advantage of you or always losing your job or whatever that commonality is that seems to consistently happen no matter what you do to avoid it that means there's a whole lot more than a lesson to be learned there that means that there's a karmic implication and that means that there's an opportunity to do deep and authentic forgiveness around it so you want to take a look back on this last year <clears throat> and say okay you know where is it that I had an unpleasant experience have I really dealt with this unpleasant experience in the highest and best way it could be this challenge that you took up on these 21 days if it's a body part an organ or a system if it's an emotion an emotion of depression an emotion of anxiety an emotion of fear if it's a relationship issue you can't seem to find love no matter how hard you hit the tennis ball every single one of these areas they also have a root especially if it's been more than once that this has come up for you and you've been trying to resolve it so we want to look at what those roots are and we want to deal with them at their level of origination which is the karmic origination that sits at our level of soul master Shah teaches heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow and so if you recognize that your soul lives forever you however don't then your soul is carrying forth every wonderful thing and every so unpleasant thing that has ever met come manifest into your life and will become manifest into your life so address it from that deeper awareness do that forgiveness practice with a recognition that you may be having this suffering because of the carrying forth of this karmic debt through many many lifetimes and so that's a higher teaching so if you find yourself if you look, can look back on your life and truly know that not only have you learned from the experience but 
it hasn't happened again. So you learn from something and it never came back to haunt you again from any other soul. Then you probably have fully released it. But if there is a repeat pattern of any kind that's happening in your life, then that's where you go back to those one, two, or three souls that have brought that repeat pattern to you and do a significant forgiveness with them. Because the chances of you having caused the suffering to them and others in previous time is very, very high, especially if you see repeat patterns. Okay? So do your part in that. <clears throat> I wanted to invite everybody to this Thursday at Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center. Uh, they're doing the kickoff of the 21 day uh, Younger, Healthier, Happier Challenge. Now, the actual start is on the 12th of January. So, the actual professional real kickoff is on the 12th. But they're going to do a full description of it and why you should join it on this Thursday, uh, the 5th. And so, I encourage you to, to go to a link. Uh, on Dr. Shaw's uh, webpage. Kristen was uh, on top of it yesterday. She placed it right away on the chat box. So my guess is she'll be on top of it again today. But if not, go to drshaw.com events and look under the Hawaii Honolulu zone till you see the Thursday night event uh, for this week and next week and register. So these special challenges are, are exceptional. The one we are doing is a very low key one, healing uh, ourselves through service to others and we're doing it for a consistency of 21 days so that we can see a measurable difference in our lives. Um, I had a, a, a communication with a student the other day and it was from not being mindful. In other words, I wasn't fully conscious and present to the way I was communicating. I wasn't conscious and present as to um, how how the words that I use could bring harm or suffering to another. I wasn't taking into consideration all the possibilities of what's happening on the other side of the conversation. I, I didn't tune into my spiritual channels. And when I had the conversation, I was driving and speaking into the, into the uh, text and going about uh, my day, just trying to be efficient. And I made an error. I, I made a, a, a huge error. I was not being fully present. This is something that we can all become more uh, conscious of. If you look at where a lot of our problems occur, especially on the human level, it's almost always communication related. We can just say something, it's received away other than our intention, or we say something out of anger, out of hurt, uh, and of course it's going to be received in a way we, we, we either want them to receive it hurtfully so that they feel our hurt. That's a very um, uh, probably not the, the best way to get something across. But as we move into 2017, as we move into protecting ourselves from getting hurt, we have to take responsibility so that we don't give ourselves unnecessary agenda to deal with. What's unnecessary agenda? A spouse that, that we get into an argument with a child or a parent we get into an argument with, a co-worker or a boss we get into an argument with, or not even an argument so much as internal negative self-talk. Things that we don't say, things that we um, think but don't say because um, most of us, if we think something but don't say it, oftentimes there's, there's two or three things going on. One is ego, it's a sense of power. We hold it into ourselves. Another that's going on is we don't want to hurt their feelings, okay? So we don't say it because we think we might hurt their feelings. Sometimes um, that's not the real reason. Um, there's a couple of things going on there. What I'm encouraging you to take a look at is watch our thoughts, words, and actions. When we communicate with anybody, especially those closest to us, the ones closest to us trigger us very easily. They're the ones that know our buttons. <clears throat> Learn the language of, of feelings and needs. This is not Dr. Master Shah material. This is me talking in flow. But learn the language of feelings and needs. What does that mean? Instead of jumping out in anger, ask yourself, what am I really needing right now that's causing me to be so angry? What am I really feeling right now? This is baseline common sense stuff, but we are in so much of a knee jerk reaction response time with that coworker, the boss, or whoever it is around us that we say or do something 
and regret that we have said it, or we keep it inside. Do the same thing when you keep it inside. What is it that I'm really needing right now? Well, I'm really needing to be understood. I'm saying something and this person I'm talking to is not understanding what I'm trying to get across. I will take responsibility. How can I express this differently? Well, what I'm really needing is to be heard. Why am I needing to be heard? Because when I'm heard, I feel validated. Okay, so I'm needing validation. I'm needing to be heard. Um, and I'm feeling uh, frustrated and I'm feeling um, upset because I've tried this before and it's not worked. Now, when we talk to that individual or keep it to ourselves, best to say it in a most loving way. I want to share something with you. It's not a blame to you. I want to share what I'm feeling and needing. I'm not saying you're causing this, so please don't take it personally. But if I can share this and it can be heard, I think we'll have a chance to move forward and not cause a big problem here. Are you willing to hear what my feelings and needs are and not take it personally? Allow me to share. If they say yes, okay, this is what I'm feeling and this is what I'm needing. <clears throat> they may do something. Don't say, when you did this, I felt this. You just blame them. Say instead, I observed when you communicated like this, I had this feeling and this need. And I would really like it if you could communicate in a different way. Now you've opened up a blossom of an opportunity. How I got onto this path and talking about this, I really don't know. I'm just following the flow. But a big part of it is being more careful about our thoughts and our words so that we don't have to deal with things that we don't want to deal with after the fact. Let's say this holidays just went by. This is a good example. There were several students that, that commented to me in a variety of ways <clears throat> about how stressful this holiday was, how much pressure was on them to perform in a certain way, or that the, the relatives, um, those closest to them, completely didn't even acknowledge them or, or didn't invite them or whatever the case may be. And so they were going through all of their internal emotions. Do the same thing. What am I feeling? What am I needing? What can I do to honor myself? How can I communicate with these souls in such a way where, where um, we have a win-win scenario where I don't get in an argument with them, but to understand how much that this hurt and what we can do in the future so it doesn't occur again. When you have that internal self-talk that's honoring of you, then you're no longer going into an anger, 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 anger which then goes into depression, 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 depression. Because when we hold it in, it's growing, especially you keep holding it in, it will lead to depression. Um, and so you back it out. You, you move into anger, you express it internally, you find your feeling and your need, you validate. Okay, now you have something to work with. This is how you work with yourself, this is how you work with others. Point of this message, be self-responsible in your communication, especially with those closest to you. If you don't like the long one, two, three day drag outs until things become balanced again, it starts with you and your consciousness of your communication. And I have to take full responsibility for that as well. So I deeply apologize to that student that I had uh, this communication with, and I hope that the student is able to forgive me. So let us move forward. And we're going to do a forgiveness practice and practice to serve others around miscommunication, okay? We'll use that as our subject today. We'll, we'll do forgiveness to assist others to clear up their miscommunications so that their relationships can become improved and stronger. And as a natural side effect, uh, we'll have some of that benefit for ourselves. We can, of course, ask the souls of the health condition, organ system, whatever that condition was, to assist us uh, in this healing process. So choose what you have been choosing for this 21 day cycle, uh, that one thing you want healing for, whether it's a health condition, an emotion, an organ, a system, whatever it is, remember that it has a soul. And we're gonna ask it to serve all of these other souls that have had communication problems, okay? So let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. <clears throat> and if you're comfortable, please, uh, repeat this forgiveness practice with me. Dear Divine, the Tao, the Source, Original Creator, 
My name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. So state your name three times. I love you, honor you deeply, deeply appreciate you. I thank you for sitting in my heart center and guiding me in this forgiveness and healing practice today. As I chant to serve others, could you please assist them in whatever way is most appropriate? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Dear all souls, in this and all time, if I or my ancestors have created strife, major serious emotional imbalances, mental suffering and imbalances, physical pain, suffering and imbalances, or spiritual imbalances because of wrong thoughts words and communications to you I deeply 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 sincerely 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 apologize I am becoming more conscious of my thoughts and words and my communication and I do not wish to harm others because of my thoughtlessness. <clears throat> I sincerely apologize and I ask for your unconditional forgiveness. I wish to offer you, all the souls in this lifetime, all the souls in all time, if you have communicated to me with disrespect, harmful emotional communication, harmful mental communication, harmful spiritual communication. I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness. I now recognize that I may have been very harmful in my communication to you in this or another time. I may have been very harmful in my communication to many souls in all time. And I do not wish to continue this cycle. I wish to offer you my complete and unconditional forgiveness. And I ask from my heart to receive your unconditional forgiveness. <clears throat> Dear the soul of all souls of humanity, I invite you to chant love, peace and harmony with me at this time to serve all of the souls in humanity that have had suffering as a result of poor communication. Please chant in whatever way is most appropriate that we can serve these souls to have higher, better, healthier, loving communication. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I invite the soul of the uh, Da He She, Greatest Harmony Calligraphy. Da Quan Shu, Greatest Forgiveness Calligraphy. Da I, Greatest Love Calligraphy. <coughs> da Tzu Bei, Greatest Compassion Calligraphy. And Da Guang Ning, Greatest Light Calligraphy. I invite the soul of these calligraphies, the countless holy beings in them, to join us at this time in whatever way is most appropriate to offer their service to all of these souls that we are chanting for. Remember now to invite the souls of this condition. Dear the soul, repeat after me, dear the soul of my condition. State your condition, whatever it is. I love you. You have the ability to serve others. Please chant love, peace, and harmony to serve these other souls that are having communication blockages as appropriate. <coughs> Excuse me. So keep your eyes closed visualize millions of souls out in front of you all having communication issues they co they come into one line standing millions of souls one behind the other and they collapse all into one soul but there are millions possibly billions in that one soul send your greatest love <clears throat> as we chant love peace and harmony and watch the communication between these souls come into balance let us begin 
Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo ai wo shen he ling, wo ai tran tran le, wang li ying rong he mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an he xie, shuang ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tran ran lei. Wang li ying rong. Her mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an he xie, shuang ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> Visualizing all of these souls, hugging each other, forgiving each other, communicating with love, see their hearts opening. <clears throat> Thank you, Kristen, for releasing the words of soul language. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tran ran lei. Wang li ying rong her mu shi shang. Shuang ai ping an he xie. Shuang ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tran ran lei, wang li ying rong er mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an he xie, shuang ai ping an he xie. 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Continue to chant silently. <coughs> Love, peace, and harmony. And I will offer a third eye and soul reading as to the benefits for all of these souls that we have offered our service to that are having difficulty in their communications. At this time, there are billions of humanity's souls that are waking up literally as if a light came on above their head. It is literally a lack of awareness of their connection to the divine that is keeping them in this place of poor communication. If they were conscious and present to the divine in them and in the other souls they communicate with, then their communication would be loving in all time. And as these souls awaken, it is like they are coming out of a confusion, like they are literally becoming aware of their surroundings for the very first time. And they are seeing all the other souls of humanity around them through a different filter, through a light filter. They are seeing the oneness and the connectivity. There is countless blessings being offered at this time <clears throat> through the soul known as the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. Because this great and most benevolent soul has been transmitted to all souls of humanity and all the souls of each human beings, organs, systems, and so forth. And the chorus of light that is occurring for each of these beings as they are continuing in their awakening is deafening in a very beautiful way. The lightness of the entirety of the planet is also occurring. So one might think that this is only about communication, but it must be known that the communication difficulties are because of separation from source. And it is what this source soul song is doing is reawakening humanity to their connection to source and as a result awakening to their communication with each other. <coughs> How? Let us continue to chant to serve unconditionally. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai truan ran li, wang li hin rong er mu shi shang, shong ai ping an he xie, shong ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. <coughs> love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 
ลูลาลูลาลีลูลาลูลาลาลีลูลาลูลาลีลูลาลูลาลีลูลาลูลาลีลูลาโอไอ心儿灵，我爱春然泪，望玲珑，荷尔木是熊熊，爱平安的些，熊爱平安的些。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> love, peace, and harmony. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I turn red light on ling room. Her mushroom song, song I ping on her say. Song I ping on her say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Last round. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la. Oh, I wash in Erling. Oh, I turn red light. Only he wrung her mushroom song. Song I ping on a sea. Song I ping on a sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. <coughs> how, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Down Source. Thank you, the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, for your incredible and unconditional service. So, welcome to Dove. Welcome, Angie. Welcome to uh, Patricia Costco. And welcome back, Nina. Welcome, Devorka. Welcome, Tawana and Sarah. Welcome, Crystal. And welcome, Monica. Thank you all for joining as well, and thank you all of you for hitting that share button. 
to let others know. <coughs> so please share um, if you had any insights with this service to others around miscommunication. We all do it. Um, <coughs> as a person that has the word master in front of his name, it makes it um, challenging because uh, in many ways we're, 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 we're very, very fallible and very human and but on some levels because of the the label is put in front of our name we're put on a higher pedestal and what that means is we can't make errors we have to be very careful with our thoughts words and actions and that's one of the ways we move higher and higher to the divine uh, but it's it's quite a bit more conscious a forced consciousness if you will so to all of you in this and all lifetimes i sincerely apologize if in this or any lifetime I have caused any form of miscommunication to any of you that has caused any form of suffering in any way. Please forgive me. I love you all and I am confident that I have done that in previous times and I ask for your forgiveness. <clears throat> I offer all of you my unconditional forgiveness if any of you in any lifetime have miscommunicated to me and caused me to suffer in any way. I release you fully and conditionally of any karmic debt that we might have to each other, regardless of the source, regardless of the condition. So, um, share any of the insights that you might have. Oh, and welcome uh, Pat also, uh, Pat JD from uh, the Caribbean and Patricia Dickinson, I see you. Welcome Sherry Dowell, thank you for sharing as well. <coughs> um, today, when we started, I went off on a tangent of communication and that led to this practice the previous day I, I went off on a tangent of uh, self and uh, I even forget the subject matter right now <coughs> but each day heaven leads me to a specific uh, subject matter that we can chant for and my guess is it probably connects pretty well to most of the people here and welcome crystal I saw your name pop up also um, Joanne in my mind's eye, when we started, I saw a beautiful green orb for healing and Archangel Raphael. Uh, then saw the souls fighting on either side of the street. Then near the end, they were hugging and laughing and tipping their hats to one another. <laughs> Feeling quite drained tonight after that. <clears throat> no drain, no gain. I hear that a lot from my spiritual father. Uh, he speaks very clearly about that. If, if we are drained, uh, because of our spiritual practices then, then we will definitely have a much fuller uh, vessel the next day because of uh, the upliftment that will occur as a result of clearing the blockages a drain is almost every case is a clearing of the blockages when you're doing a spiritual practice and a lot of people don't understand that one of the reasons why we feel drained if we do a, a some significant spiritual practice is because we're literally being held up on pillars of falseness so imagine false ego, false beliefs, false this, false that, false protectionism from being a victim, false whatever, right? When we go through the process of releasing this falseness, then it crumbles. And so we don't have that false strength. And we feel drained and we don't quite know why. Well, how is it possible? I did a spiritual practice, but I feel drained. It's because we're literally removing the false pillars that we've held up our, our false world with. And but as you continue to do the foundational practices, open your heart center, boosting your lower foundational energy centers, forgiveness, love, peace, and harmony. What you're doing is you're building a real foundation built on real pillars of honesty, no ego, service, selfless service. And that's where your, your energy sustains. That's where if, if things outside of you take a dump where the job doesn't work out or, or a relationship goes sour or whatever it might be, where before that would have knocked you over like a tidal wave now it just kind of hits you and you're like bamboo in the wind you're like okay well whatever you know life goes on why do you respond to it differently if because you you knock down the falsities and you rebuilt on a solid base and so it makes a significant difference as you continue to do these practices because of what is occurring so CJ says, uh, thank you, Master Paul. That was a wonderful flow. I felt it, tearful. Uh, thank you uh, very much, CJ, for that comment. Uh, Sherry Dahl, I can see 
uh, how I know all souls on some level. Uh, absolutely. Loveness says, thank you, Master Paul. We love you dearly. Also, ask my ancestors to ask for forgiveness from you, and we also offer you our unconditional forgiveness. Thank you, Loveness. Thank you for all of you. Uh, Joanne says, brilliant. And Johanna says, violet light and the song of soul song of love, peace, and harmony flew so well. So Johannes um, uh, put on my page a uh, rendition of Love, Peace, and Harmony, and he, and he sang with another gentleman, and they had their guitars. And uh, so um, you can scroll down my page and see that and share that with others. It's a, it's a beautiful rendition, very from the heart. Uh, so he's a very talented uh, musician. So um, tomorrow is Wednesday. Again, I want to invite, for those that aren't, aren't familiar, <coughs> Thursday. Uh, at Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center for uh, this Thursday is a, a tip-off, if you will, to the following Thursday. So the 5th and the 12th. The 5th is the tip-off to the 21-day the challenge of feeling happier, healthier, younger. Everything we've been doing has put you on the right path to get started. Now you go into the Super Bowl. The, 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 the one that comes with huge power behind it, heavens, temples, and all that behind it. And that's the one through Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center. And to learn more about it, come Thursday night, 6 o'clock is when it starts, uh, to 9 p.m. For some of you on the uh, Eastern Seaboard time, I know that's a bit difficult. But um, do your best. And I'm pretty sure they'll also Facebook record it. So if you're not already a Facebook friend where you like Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center Honolulu, um, then please like their page and you'll, you can go to their page and also be made abreast of the Facebook videos that they record of, for example, that evening. And so then the following Thursday, the 12th, is the actual uh, full boat kickoff for the do for 21 days. They'll have huge prizes, uh, calligraphies that are worth 500 to a thousand dollars, all kinds of good stuff for the person that has one or two people that have the greatest benefits. Last time they did two winners. Uh, one was online uh, distance and one was in person. And so you have an equal chance at a distance to, to win that grand prize. Um, so make sure you tune in on uh, Thursday. As well as tonight, for those that want to chant love, peace, and harmony some more, uh, starting at 6 tonight, uh, there will be three to eight masters chanting. We'll be inviting in masters from around the world. Currently we're chanting in seven or eight languages right now in this evenings. And one of the great things about these evenings is we stop about every half hour and then we do flows and third eye images of what's been what's happening around the world for that particular uh, condition that we're chanting for. It's also a great opportunity to earn a lot more virtue and to serve selflessly. So if you can do that, come to tonight's uh, event as well. Again, drshaw.com, click on events, and then scroll down to Hawaii through the USA section. And Tuesday, you'll, you'll figure it out from there. So feel free to contact me through Facebook Messenger if you have any questions. Um, feel free to uh, hit the share button on this if you haven't already. And if you're new and you're watching this for the first time and you'd like to be made aware of when I offer these live streams, just hit the subscribe button after I post this and you'll have the opportunity to, uh, to know when I go live. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank heaven, divine, down source, all beings of life serving the planet of the light side. We thank Master Shah's Tao Healing Temple, countless holy beings, guides, angels, and saints that are present here. We thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Krishnas, Ganesha. We thank all the healing angels, archangels. We thank the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony for its incredible, incredible service. And we thank all of the souls who have ever forgiven us in all lifetimes. We can never bow down enough for your forgiveness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Maybe see you tonight. If not, we'll see you tomorrow, same time. Love you, love you, love you. See you then. Bye-bye.